poison bloom ASMR Hey you Always helping Thank you for being here I'm glad you came I'm back from grocery shopping at Lidl This has never happened to me before but I had to go into Lidl twice. Not everything fitted into one shopping trolley the first time around. I kept on piling stuff in there. And after half an hour, <laughs> it was like pushing a mountain. And I couldn't see the floor anymore. So I walked around. Can you picture it? Neck outstretched, trying not to hit anything. And I thought, you know what, this is an accident waiting to happen. Let's just pay for all of this first and then go in again and get the remaining items on my list. And the other voice in my head went, that's the best idea you've had all day, cat. Let's do that. <laughs> I wish I could show you everything I got, but as you can see, I have two receipts here. The first time around I paid 180 euros, and the second time 79 euros. That makes, what, 259 euros? I remember feeling like asking the cashier, can I pay in tears, please? <laughs> okay, so let's start off with the broccoli. One euro and twenty-five cents for one head of broccoli. Not but a cool snack. That's crunchy cabbage flavour. It was grown here in Belgium. This was basically the best looking head of broccoli I could find. So I'd better prepare it quickly because if I wait too long, I'm going to have to use it for soup. I'd rather not. I love broccoli mashed in with potatoes and some Emmental cheese or baked with some parmesan. Mm. Much better than broccoli soup. Okay, up next. A bag of clementines from Spain. Mm, it says mandarinen. That's tangerines on here. One ninety-nine. These are definitely not tangerines. Hmm, it doesn't really matter. I like them both. They're sweet, easy to peel, and vitamin C, of course. Hmm, they look nice. I usually have one in the evenings after dinner. Oh, 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 sweet temptation. Frangipane cakes, we call them frangipane darches. These are really good for the soul. Um, let's see how much this was. 229 for two pieces of heaven. I love the puff pastry base and the almond flavored filling and then the apricot jam mm. and the icing sugar on top. This is perfection. Moving on. We've got the celery and carrot sandwich spread. I've been loving this for the past couple of months. 
I have it several times a week, just on a slice of bread. It has a sweet and slightly sour taste, just tastes nice and fresh in your mouth. I don't think it's that healthy, but you know, health foods are overrated anyways. Dogs will choose fries over salad any day of the week, and I say I trust dogs. Okay, let me check. This was one euro nineteen cents. Mm, it's not too bad. And as you can see, I bought four. Okay, up next. Soft goat's cheese bread. In Dutch, heet and gas. It has a sharp note. I guess you could call it citric, but it's not harsh at all. It's easily spreadable on bread and not as crumbly as the semi-hard goat's cheese. Okay, this comes in at one forty-nine. And I bought two, because I don't want the one to get lonely. Okay, next victim. Four breaded cod fillets. We put them between hamburger buns. They're really good with tartar sauce and some roasted peppers. The crunch on the outside is perfect. And they were four euros fifteen cents. Mm -hmm. Then we've got us some spring onions. We call them lente in Dutch. This is for when we make shopska salad. You know the Bulgarian tomato and feta cheese salad. It goes really well in there. And this was 99 cents. Okay, we continue with the cheese theme. This is some semi-mature Gouda cheese. I like this cheese better than young Gouda cheese. It's just really creamy and mild. It's like an everyday type of cheese. Let's see how much these slices were. Two euros and fifty-nine cents. How many slices are in here? Eight or ten, something like that, I think. Who wants to go next? Some bite-sized tomatoes. A small container. It's like a little bucket. These are lunch tomatoes. Use them mostly on sandwiches at lunchtime, and for dinner we use the larger tomatoes. Are locally grown here in Belgium, and they were much. Ah, oh, here it is. Two ninety-nine. Okay, fair price. the fruit that's unripe for weeks on end and then ripe for about 17 minutes on a Monday definitely when you aren't looking and then it turns basically brown and stringy if you guess the ripeness right they are mm, delicious oh 
Oh, they're actually baby avocados. They are three euros and 49 cents. Here are the bell peppers. These are these veggies of fruit. They're fruit right because they grow from flowers. I love how every color has its own particular flavor. The green ones more earthy tasting and the red bell peppers more fruity and sweet. They were two twenty nine. Up next, some plums. I don't have them that often. I bought them for my husband. He can have them all. But he'll have to pay me. Two euros and 79 cents. Don't you make a great pair? Uh, grown locally. Mm, they look nice and fresh. These were... Two euros and forty nine cents. That's it. Yum, yum, yum. Um, what do you call them in English? Persimmons? No idea, something like that. So Delicious. So one kilo. They were one kilo, they were two ninety nine. Two ninety nine, yeah, two ninety nine. Oh, when they're ripe and a bit juicy, they have a really rich sweetness with um honey-like aspect to it. Okay, bunch of bananas, the color of summer. Mm, one euro, one euro, 34 cents. They're about ripe. Maybe still need a day or two. But I think we can have one today already. Do you enjoy your bananas when they're really ripe or still a bit green? Okay, some zespri kiwis. I think these are the green ones, not the sun gold ones. Wow, four euros, 49 cents, that's pricey. And now for the veggie burgers. I don't eat meat, I'm a pescatarian. And I do enjoy some falafels and other veggie burgers. If 
falafels are great inside a pit of bread with some cucumbers and tomatoes, maybe a yogurt dressing. Let's turn it around. It's going to say chickpeas, isn't it? Yep, chickpeas. They were one euro and 49 cents. That's pretty good value for money. And then we have the regular veggie burger. Pretty self-explanatory. And these are my absolute favourite veggie burgers. They're schnitzels. Little is often out of them. Just finding these schnitzels meant that the shopping trip was, as far as I'm concerned, a success. And then I got us some veggie balls as well. They are an ideal replacement for regular meatballs. They're not chewy or dry. Really, really good. I do usually slice them in half because they're quite big to fit in your mouth in one go. Um, how many are in here? Twelve, I think. All these vegetarian snacks are one euro forty nine cents. Another reason to like them. Moving on, some red grapes. Seedless, I think. I prefer these to green grapes. Green grapes can be quite sour, right? And they're from Spain. I think these seedless ones are such a great invention. And they were for half a kilo, two euros, 19 cents. Oh, hello, Mango. Can't wait till we get to Tango. <laughs> One euro sixty nine cents. See how beautiful it looks. Very autumn-like with the greens and reds and oranges. You're so beautiful, Mango. You are. Parmigiano Reggiano. over oven casseroles or to use in pasta sauces or risotto. I like the nutty sharp taste this cheese has. It's cow's milk cheese, right? Yeah, cow's milk cheese. Mm. 
Next, white mushrooms. I'm one of those weird people who enjoys these raw, but cooked I enjoy the most in vegetarian lasagna or in risotto. And they were. Are they mushrooms, champignons, middle, one euro seventy nine cents? Are these called cup mushrooms or are they just large button mushrooms? I don't know. This is a Chalia melon. Such a beautiful piece of fruit. It was two euros forty eight cents. There was a period in my life when I had chronic stomach issues and melons were about all I could digest. You'd think that I'd grow tired of them after a while, but I never did. They are still like the fruit of life for me, and I'll always be grateful for their existence. There you go. Some Freeway Coke Zero, the little supermarket house brand, and I kid you not, these are almost as tasty as Coca-Cola Zero. At least to me they are. One euro sixty nine cents for a six pack. That's less than thirty cents for a single can. I think regular arm um, coke zero is almost seventy cents. So these are really good value. Now let me go fetch the fish I bought, it's still in the fridge. I didn't want to leave it here on the table for this long. So this is, how is this pronounced, Pangasius? A fillet of Pangasius. We call it Pangasius filet. It's a really affordable type of fish and the taste is, is neutral basically so they're really good in fish stews and they were two euros and where are they? Uh, they were two euros 49 cents for two fillets 200 grams and now for some smoked Norwegian salmon very fancy schmancy we use this for pasta sauce with some cream and peas. I don't care too much for it raw because it's just too intense for my taste buds. So I usually have it warm. This is going to be expensive. Nautica is on. Four thirty-nine. Hmm. Yeah, costly. More cheese, gorgonzola cheese, dolce, lovely blue veined cheese, salads, pastas, and it sells for. Two euros eighty nine cents. And 
and of course lemon pearl cheese grated that's a must have one euro forty nine is that right yeah one euro forty nine cents yeah, I can't live without this. It's like oxygen, but more fatty. Like fatty oxygen. Now some slices of Abbey cheese, update gas, translates as Abbey cheese. What's usually made by a religious order in a monastery, but I don't think this one is. It's made by Dupont cheese from Bruges. That's no monastery. I think they have two types of flavour in this cheese, a mild flavoured one and a more intensely flavoured one. This one has the more mild flavour. And I paid two euros and 99 cents for these slices. More cheese, Fourme d'Ambert. This is a gem. It's affordable and and it's a smooth and delicate French blue cheese. It's made from raw cow's milk. I think it was produced in central France and it costs. euros 67 cents that doesn't hurt too badly does it that was it guys thank you for listening to me waffle on about supermarket items I have no idea whether you enjoy videos like this one so if you'd please give me some feedback in the comment section, I'd appreciate it. Thank you. Take good care of yourself and talk to you later.